Hi, I'm Paul Tapper from New Zone Audio, and I want to talk to you today about our, um, our plugin MasterCheck Pro, which is our audio plugin for music production when you're interested in how your audio is going to sound through digital streaming services. Now, you should be interested in how your audio is going to sound through digital streaming services because nowadays most audio is consumed through streaming services rather than through CD. Not only is it by far and away the most common form that people access music nowadays, but it's also become the largest revenue stream in terms of recorded music. So increasingly, things like Spotify, Tidal, Apple iTunes, Radio are a more important medium for consuming music than CD. So we've made this plugin specifically to provide you with the tools to understand how your audio is going to be affected. And there's two main areas that this plugin is, is dealing with. One is to do with uh, the codec compression, because of course you aren't going to get PCM audio coming through on a streaming service. It's going to be compressed uh, probably into AAC audio. And then the second area is loudness normalization. So if I talk about loudness normalization first, one thing which maybe not everyone knows is that most streaming services now have loudness normalization. And this makes sense because uh, popular music tracks from the 1980s will have a very different level to a 1990s or 2000s audio. So someone listening to a playlist which is mixing those different tracks together is going to get really jarring drum jumps in loudness. So to give a better experience for the consumer, streaming services normalize the loudness levels of the audio that they play out. And this gives the consumer more control over the loudness that they're listening to. What that means for you though, is that if you've mastered your track to be really hot, have a really high loudness level, then the computer in Spotify is just gonna turn the volume down. The end effect of that is that you've thrown away some headroom. You can use MasterCheck to measure the loudness levels of your music, check it against different standards, so how will it sound in Spotify, how will it sound from Tidal, how will it sound for Apple or iTunes radio, and understand whether your audio is going to get turned down or whether you're hitting it just right. If you can get your music at the right loudest level for that streaming service, you can make full use of the headroom above that loudest level. So you get the full width of the transients, the full detail, and you don't over compress things. Over compression might sound good when you're listening to the loudest level on your monitors, but when the computer turns it down, it's not going to sound that great. So the second area that I'm interested in with this plugin is the codec compression. And you can see here I've got Spotify um, dialed in as my preset. And there's three different codecs that Spotify uses, mobile, desktop, and premium. And I can use these controls to audition each of those different output levels. I can even listen to the delta, so what's getting thrown away by that compression, which is fascinating to listen to. And you can see that I've got some red dots here. That's because true peak clips have occurred through that codec compression. And true peak is a measurement of the intersample level. So that's really important, especially for codecs. Uh, if you have an intersample over, when it goes through a codec compression, that's going to just sound even worse. You're going to get nasty distortion. So again, you can use MasterCheck to avoid that sort of a problem make sure your audio is going to be really clean through that codec conversion. All in all, MasterCheck gives you the tools that you need to understand how your master is going to be affected by digital streaming services and how most end users are going to listen to your audio. Thanks for listening.